Welcome back to Last Day of Wonder Boy, and welcome to one of the only non-gaming videos on this. And, uh, did I say my full intro? Did I say hopefully today will not be our last day? Yada yada, we're doing a tier list, I doubt I'm gonna die. Anyways, I got all of Blunderhill mobs here. I got footage of most of them, except unfortunately Baba Yaga and Crystal Carrot, but I've gotten footage of everybody else. So don't worry your little head about it. Anyways, these are our tiers here. This is the best, this is the worst, and let's get, you know, let's just get straight into it. I've already rated most of these creatures anyways. Green Mun- Green Mushrooms, oh my god, English is hard, are honestly good looking. They look cool, they look pretty cute, honestly, just love them, they're little tiny, globs they only have five health and honestly they have a really fun death so you know they're pretty good looking red mushrooms on the other hand are fine enough i guess they're pretty boring honestly i'm actually probably gonna drop this to an eh you know they're they're like the green mushrooms but like not as cool at all like sure they hold a spear they have a really nice death though i really like the death with the spear falling on them so I'm actually going to bring them back up to fine enough, just because they have a really nice death. Frogs are just like green mushrooms. They're good looking fellas, their death is fun, you know, they're just there, you know, they're hanging around. The only like, normal named creature, it's so weird to me. But yeah, freaking love the frogs, beautiful creatures, and honestly, I think slightly better than the green mushrooms. Boom. Board beans are so boring, so I wouldn't even kill them. They're... They look boring, they're beans, so they're not even cool, and they're green beans too? Gross? And like, again, they're just so boring. Even their death is the most boring thing. I literally wouldn't even kill them. They are absolutely boring. Next up, we have the slime. Eh, you know, it's a slime, you know, looks like a little bag. Pretty boring, honestly, not a whole lot to it. It's not a bad creature by any means. Could it be better? Nah, not really, it's just a slime. Eh, it's just kind of boring, honestly. Baby boas would kill. They're so cute, honestly. I kind of wish they were a different color. I think they look a lot cuter when they're different colors, such as in the shell snake. But even as the green they are, they are absolutely great. I love killing their, these things. They have a pretty nice death animation. They drop a uh, snake skin. Yep, I think that's what their drop is called. And they're just cool. They're, look at them. They're cute. That not that so, such a cute design? Freaking love these guys. Next up, we got Carrot Men. Also, would absolutely kill. Not only do they drop the Carrot Bow, which is absolutely amazing. They are walking and probably talking carrots. And their death is really freaking brutal for something that walks on two legs. Mwah. Love these guys. The Gooblins. They are actually really good looking, probably the best. Like them just slightly more than the frogs, because I think they're slightly cuter than the frogs. Their death is kind of boring, but you know, they're still pretty cool. I like them, you know? They're just hanging around, they're being cute and all, and then I come and kill them. They're cute in a weird way, though. They're not your, like, typical puppy cute. They're, like, they're cute as in, like, baby demon cute, you know? Next up, we have, uh, Woad Board. These guys are one of my favorite creatures. Like, I had... I don't know how I even forgot these guys existed. Because they're so... They're so good. They're so amazing. They look beautiful. They look cute. I love them. The noises they make when they die are just absolutely fun. Their death is actually really fun, too. Freaking love these guys. Uh, Giga Frog is pretty freaking good, too. You know, the with the frog horns, which is just such a fun and weird drop to me. Also, you know, the fact it's like a, just a big frog with horns. That's just freaking amazing, honestly. I used to call these guys goat frogs. I think actually the thumbnail I have for these guys when we discovered them, oh, so long ago, like a year ago. You know, was has like goat frog in the title and anything uh, and everything. So yeah, absolutely love this Giga Frog. Pretty good creature. The poops, uh, they're fine enough, I guess. Better than the red mushrooms, you know? They got a more boring death. They're like the slime, but the better version, you know? Because they're poop, and we all find potty humor funny, apparently. I'm just gonna honestly skip over the poops. They're not that cool. There's not a whole lot to them. They're fine enough. 
eh, you know, slightly better than an eh, just because I think, uh, because I like their eyes more. I like the placement of their eyes more than the slime. Next up are the freaking rats. Absolutely would kill these things. Not only are these things gross looking, they have a nice death. They're also somehow very gross and very cute, just like real life mice and rats. No offense to, you know, people don't think they look horrible. You know, I think they look cute, but also very gross. You know, I don't want to touch one. They probably have the plague. In fact, they do have the plague. But yeah, you know, pretty cool. Really like the blue sky. Ooh, color scheme and it's also used for my little thing in sewer adventures which we've already had four parts of isn't that wonderful probably a fifth part coming soon next up we have the boops the boops are good they're good looking they're like they're twice as good as the slime and one time better than the poops because you know they're they're just like the poops but they're white i think they're slightly bigger and also they have a cool skull on their head so no, they're pretty cool. Walking sticks. Oh my god, do I love these things. These things are horrifying. Seriously, they are so freaky. They are a freaking twig with two feet that are pretty buff. And then look where the eyes are. That's so weird. How are these things even allowed to be alive? These things, absolutely terrifying. Love them. Oh my god, I love them. Next up, we have acorns. Acorns, also just beautiful. They're cute. They have a pretty nice death. Their death is really close to the woad boards, too. But it's just like, it's a fun death, you know? I absolutely love these guys, you know? Acorns, good. Wood mushrooms, I wouldn't even kill. They are so hard to get to. The quest related to them with, I think his name was uh, Sprout, I believe so, is like so obnoxious having to kill so many they're so hard to kill they're so boring they're like the red mushrooms but like an even worse color palette like holy crap like geez so just the worst just the worst absolutely hate wood mushrooms boo the worst the worst crystal carrot would kill 100 percent you know, it's a fun thing to grind to, a fun thing to kill. It's just a fun thing all around, honestly. Absolutely beautiful. Also makes for a killer thumbnail, honestly. Next up are the bosses, actually. Dr. Defusios needs work, because it's like a poop, but with shinier eyes. Screw you, you're so hard to get to, and then I couldn't even kill you, and then you're obnoxious, and this is clearly the creature's fault and not the fact that I'm bad at the game, alright? Needs stupid work. Anyways, next up, uh, Amarok. Amarok is pretty good looking. Uh, I'm actually gonna move the boops probably in front of the grand. Nah. Mmm. I actually think I'm just gonna put Amarok back here. Mmm. I feel like the frog might be too forward. I think it is. I think I prefer the green mushroom now. Eh, nah. Nah, I think I still like the frog more. Sorry, I'm changing my opinions too quickly. Anyways, Amarok. He's a cool boss, you know, he carries around a big sword I'm gonna put in front of the boop. You know, he carries around a big sword. He's got like an orange tint to it, you know, pretty easy boss to kill, you know, first boss. Looks cool, his armor is sexy, so, you know, great guy. Next up is uh, Baba Yaga. I actually have not killed Baba Yaga yet, same with this guy. But unlike uh, Dr. Uh, Defecius, you know... Baba Yaga is actually pretty freaking cool, you know? He's a walking, talking house. I don't know. I don't think this one talks. But he's like the walking sticks. But for some reason, I'm actually not a huge fan. I think this is the best house design they could have gone for, honestly. But I just, I don't think it's on the same level as any of these. It's still pretty good, do not get me wrong. But, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what you could do to make it better, honestly. I think it's the best it could be. It's just the best it could be is, you know, just slightly worse than all of these other creatures. But still, Baba Yaga, absolutely amazing. And just like so many others, makes for a freaking killer thumbnail. Anyways... This is my tier list of Blunderhill creatures. Is this the most accurate one? Absolutely. You will not find one more accurate. This is the most accurate one. In fact, this one is probably versatile to the whole universe. Everyone agrees with me. Yep, 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 yep. All right, cool. I'm just making sure that I wouldn't change anything. Then to put the red mushrooms down to add, but I really do like their deaths. Their deaths are pretty cool and kind of carrying them. 
The poop I'm also tempted to put eh, but I don't think it deserves to be with the slime. Don't get me wrong, the slime's not bad, it's just kind of very boring. I think we got a perfect tier list here. Alright, beautiful. Anyways guys, remember, stay alive.